thanks for checking out the new video. Uh, this video is going to be about all of the bells and whistles that we see here on the left. So we have on the left hand side of the Honda 2018 Sport uh, uh, digital uh, display here on the left and an analog display on the right. Um, so we will uh, talk about all of the items here and then the second part of the video we'll talk about the display um, all the options that you have in the touch screen um, and when I say second half of the video that might actually be a second video altogether depending on how long this video goes um, so tachometer settings as you can see this one <coughs> excuse me I have the tachometer uh, listed um, and you can change it from units Right. Oh, there we go. So, tachometer is listed, and now we have fuel and range. So, fuel and range is uh, obviously how how many miles projected you can get on the gas that you have in your tank. The average uh, miles per gallon um, currently is twenty three point five. I just filled it up. I went twenty five miles, um, and so the trip obviously is. 25 miles there at the bottom, and B is 1,782.3. Um, so you'll see when I change the trip from A to B, the average fuel changes. So 23.5 on trip A, 37.6 on trip B. Um, and that also shows on the uh, touchscreen display, and I'll go over that in a little bit. So let's go back to home, uh, speed and time. Uh, obviously, as you can see, I changed trip A and trip B. So my average speed for the 25 miles is 14 miles an hour for an hour and 52 minutes elapsed time. Um, and the uh, 1500 or 17 trip B is th average speed 31 miles an hour. Um, I don't know if that's right. And then the elapsed time is 99 hours and 59 minutes. I don't think that's correct either. Um, obviously, I can go 1,700 miles in a lot less than 99 hours. Uh, okay, so I'm not sure why, what that is. So audio, obviously audio. Um, so you can press the little button on your steering wheel and you can change the source from AM, FM, USB, so whichever you want to drive your um, <coughs> stereo. Phone. Obviously, uh, favorites, calls, um, and items like that. You can see um, traffic signs. Traffic signs are cool, but they are kind of odd, and they don't necessarily work 100%. But there is a camera on on the on the car that reads um, that indicates the street signs. So those street signs would end up displaying here. So if it was 35 miles an hour, you would see 35 uh, regular street sign like you see on the side of the road. So you'll see 35, 45, 70, whatever it may be. So that'll display there. It'll also display up here um, when you're driving as well. So you don't have to have the digital part on this to, to be able to see it on the screen. Uh, next, driving support. Yeah, I'm gonna... Roll up the windows and start the car real quick because it's a lot of bugs flying around here this evening. Uh, so the next is actually, you know what? I'm going to uh, let me change this right quick. Uh, there we go. Let's change that. All right. So the um, which one was this? This was driving support. So driving support will um, outline the cars or the, this, the distance between you and the car in front of you, if there was a car. As you see, there's no car in my driveway. There's no car in front of me. So what you would see here is you would see 100 yards, 50 yards, 500 yards. Well, 500 yards is kind of far. Uh, but you'll see, and it'll give you a little image of an of a outline of a car, but it'll tell you how far that car is from you if you really need to know. Um, I really never have it on there, um, but I'm not sure the value of that. Uh, attention, uh, 
driver attention level. So this monitors the driver's uh, behavior to a certain degree. Are they swerving a little bit? Are they, is the person not necessarily paying attention based on the, the road, the way the car is driving? And it'll give you a nice little signal that says, Haha, you and I need to pull over and take a rest. Uh, and I'll put an image of what that looks like uh, here on the screen as well. Uh, so that's kind of funny. When the first time it popped up, I, I got a chuckle out of it. Maintenance. This will tell you what you need to do. Um, so my oil life, as you can see, is 40%. And right below the oil life, it says B23. So you can look up on any Google search or any um, Honda site to find out what B23 means. I know what it means, but obviously there's a whole bunch of other different codes on what it means relative to the maintenance you need to perform on your car. So I will just keep on moving. Uh, safety support, this is to turn on the front crash um, mitigation system and the lane uh, departure warnings. So obviously if I click the little, if I, uh, I can turn it on and off. So road departure mitigation and front. So everything's turned off. Obviously, I do not want them turned off, so I will turn them back on. But that is how you do it. Now, and last but not least, warnings. Warnings, this would be uh, anything from fasten your seatbelt to uh, doors open, trunk still open, things of that nature. Obviously it probably does a whole host of other things, but uh, my car is still fairly new and I haven't necessarily put, um, haven't seen a whole lot of warnings pop up, but it does have to do with just being able to operate the car. Now, um, so that is everything from the analog side, I mean the digital side, my apologies. And I put it back on range and fuel. So I always have this displayed um, along with the tachometer. And you can turn the tachometer off by coming over here to this little bad boy. So I will um, show you the tachometer and I'll come over here to settings and I will turn, um, so you'll see under settings, you'll see, oh, settings right there. Settings, display, vehicle, so we'll go to vehicle, and you'll see meter settings, lighting settings, door window, driver assist setup, um, maintenance info. So all these are settings that you can change. So we will click on, I'm gonna do meter setup. Uh, adjust outside temperature display, adjust alarm volume, configure instrument panel, uh, fuel efficiency, black light, trip A, trip B, tachometer, there it is. So tachometer, you'll see it says on, we will turn it off, we'll hit save. But before we do that, watch this. Bam, gone. So obviously for me, I will turn it back on bam it's there so um, a lot of these uh, functions here control obviously like I talked about uh, speed and units you can do miles per hour or kilometers we will leave it as miles per hour of course hit the little back button there um, obviously we're not gonna reset fuel efficiency black light on or off I have no idea what this is but let's hit off just for giggles I don't know what that did. I'm looking at the display over here. Let's turn it back on. See if it does anything. Hmm, I did not see it do anything. So, a lot of features over here. Configure instrument panel, uh, tachometer, fuel and range. So, all of these, so as you can see, they're all check marked over here. So all of these uh, are the ones that show up here in the home screen. Oh. oh, you know what? I can't go into home 
while I have this open. Let's hit done. Now, there we go. So as we're trying to make adjustments over here in the configure instrument panel, it won't let you view it. So all of these here are displayed over there. Uh, let's go back. Um, adjust alarm volume. High, medium, oh, it's on low. We will leave it at that. Adjust outside temperature display. So you'll see. Um, select adjust outside temperature display. So we'll say, yep, leave it at zero. We'll leave all that the way it came. No changes there. Language settings, selections, we'll leave that as English, of course. Um, lighting setup. So this is pretty cool. So um, auto light sensitivity, auto interior uh, illumination sensitivity, auto headlights on or off with wipers on, um, headlights on and off timer. So here we go. So um, if you leave your car, you lock the doors, you walk away, the lights can either go off right away or stay on for 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds. 15 seconds I think is reasonable, so we'll leave that alone. Um, interior light dimming time, so how fast the light interior will turn off. Um, 15 seconds I think is reasonable. Um, auto headlight on with wipers on. So let's on and off headlight functions at wiper operations when the headlights is in auto settings. Oh, so what this means is let select on off. What I think it means is when this is turned to auto, or to auto, um, Somehow to do with wipers. Auto headlights on. I really don't know. Hmm. Time to Google that one. All right. Um. Next. Um. Interior or auto interior sensitivity. So this is medium. So very minimal. So this will control how bright those lights are. So we'll say medium. We'll say minimum. Turn on. Well, that's not it. I don't think. All right, that's that one. Uh, so we'll do that again. We'll go maximum, hit save. Turn the light off, turn it back on. Huh, I don't think that's really doing much to my car. No, it really doesn't. Maybe that's on a different model. I'm not sure, but definitely did not do anything to my lights. Uh, auto light sensitivity, um, medium low. So this is the auto lights when you have your car turned or headlights turned to auto right there. Um, it will, um, how sensitive it is as it gets dusk and turns on automatically. So we'll turn that back. We'll go back here. Um, door and window setup. So this is pretty cool too. Uh, auto lock doors uh, with vehicle speed. So you can turn off to where it doesn't lock the doors automatically. You can turn off on vehicle speed or shift from park. So immediately shift from park, doors lock. Or I wanna say 20 miles an hour or 15 miles an hour, the doors lock. So you can manually set that. Key and remote unlock mode, this is pretty cool. Driver door only or all doors. So if you click the unlock button, you can control which doors it unlocks right away. Now it will obviously unlock all doors if you press it twice. Um, keyless lock answer back. So um, exterior light, so mine is set to off. So when you clock, uh, close, I'm sorry, when you turn off or turn on your, um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean turn on, turn off. When you um, lock your car or unlock your car, you can typically your lights flash. So you can turn off those lights from flashing at all. So very manual uh, auto that you can do that. So mine is set to off. 
uh, security relock timer. So select relock timer after unlocking vehicle with key fob without opening the doors. 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds. Um, auto door unlock. All doors when shifted to park. So after you're driving, the doors are locked. Um, so this controls uh, which doors unlocked and off of what event do they unlock. Uh, so mine unlock as soon as I put it car park and that's all from the doors and windows lighting setup uh, meter setup we already went through that driver assisted setup uh, traffic sign recognition system small icon large icon or small icon or off uh, I like it on so we'll leave that alone forward collision warning distance normal short long so you can set at what point it uh, the car slows down or, or attempts to stop uh, if some there's some object or another car or something's in front of you. Uh, ACC forward vehicle uh, detect beeping so uh, as your let's see turn on and off audible oh so this will um, so this will warn you it will um, speak say I forget what it says I had it on when I first bought the car but as you can see, I've turned it off because it was, I won't say it was kind of annoying, but um, I didn't really need it. So, it will talk to you. Lane keep assist. So this will actually, when you have your uh, lane keep assist activated, and I'll go over that here in a minute, um, this will actually alert you um, if it doesn't uh, detect the lines. Road departure mitigation system. So this is uh, road departure mitigation system. Uh, warning only, wide, narrow, normal. So this will adjust how the camera and how the car reads the lines, and then relative to what it, how it alerts the driver. Um, so warning only, wide lanes, normal lanes, or or very n narrow uh, lanes. So we'll put that to normal not make any changes driver attention monitor again this one is pretty funny this is the one uh, tactical and audible alert so if you need to take a break the little um, coffee cup that was on the uh, digital display on the dash or on the displays over here um, it will give you a, a coffee cup and it will um, alert you um, so it'll I believe if I'm not mistaken it will vibrate the steering wheel um, so this will be vibration only this will be tactical which will be displayed there and vibrate the steering wheel and that's the driver keeps so TPMS calibration this is basically if you uh, got a warning that says your tire pressure is low um, and you went and filled it up this would be to reset recalibrate all of the um, tire pressure so the warning light will go away um, and that is it for vehicle settings um, system language date and time touch panel sensitivity uh, system volumes configure instrument panel security accessibility about uh, factory data reset uh, detail information so um, connections so how, um, let's see, do I have anything? I don't think we have. So there's some, I don't know, bird family? Interesting. Uh, there's uh, the Wi Fi's that have been connected to the car. Um, display. So you can set the, the brightness to everything. We will not be changing those settings. Um, so it's very manual and very uh, customizable. Um, sound. So you can change the the fade, the treble, the bass, all of that good stuff. Um, oh, let's go back. There we go. So you can actually drag that. So wherever you want it to be, that's where you can put that right over there. We'll leave that in the middle, and then you hit save wherever you move to do. If you you can press those if you wanted to as well.
Uh, let's see here. And that's it. Oh, camera. Camera is pretty cool. I like the rear camera. Uh, fixed guidelines on or off. Um, so I will show you what that looks like. I will put the car in reverse. So that's all of the items under settings. So I'll put the car in reverse. Don't mind my garage. So you'll see you'll see the fixed lines in the, the image here. This dotted line is about a foot and a half to two feet. Um, so if you get close to anything from that standpoint, you might want to stop. Um, but the camera has three different settings. So um, round, um, so you'll see close up. So you'll see that the tires that I have right there are very close and then band the far away. So there's two different settings in this one. It's looking directly down. So all three of these camera settings are function uh, are controlled by one camera that's in the back. And so you have three different cameras depending on what you want to look at. Mine is always set to this one here. Um, so far I haven't needed any of those other ones. Oh, put that back in the park. Um, so you have a trip calculator. This one's pretty cool. So here's your trip A. So here are all of the trips, um, 1,800 miles before I reset it, almost 400, over 500, 38.7, 36.7, 34.5. The one you can't see that, that I've overridden already, it wasn't one of the last three, was I want to say 400 some miles, almost 500 miles from uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia to Charlotte, North Carolina. And that was 45.2 miles a gallon. So pretty awesome. Now, uh, all the, the last three plus the current one for trip B, GLC 33.3 for 600, 6,000, 5,000, right now 11,000, um, and 37, 37. So not bad um, from a fuel mile perspective. Pretty awesome. Uh, AM, FM, we already know that. Phone is pretty uh, obvious. USB, you can connect USB. Obviously, I do not have no device connected. But what you can do is you can set this to be a screensaver. So you collect uh, USB, and um, you can have uh, screensaver photos and whatnot uh, rotate through uh, the screensaver. So screensavers are over here. Uh, so you'll see compass, depending on which way we're headed south or we're facing south, I guess. Um, system updates. So, uh, via uh, USB or wireless, no connection detected. I'm too far away from the house for it to be connected to my internet. Um, Honda Lynx. Honda Lynx is, would you like to be able, to, would you like to enable Honda Lynx? By enabling Honda Lynx, we'll collect your vehicle diagnostic and location information. This information will be tied to your vehicle. Vehicle, blah, 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 blah. Um, I did not do this, but I'm going to do it now, see what happens. It might not do anything since I'm not connected to the internet. Phone connection status. Yeah, looks like I probably have to be connected to the internet. I'll do some more research on that. Um, and then the clock. So the clock, so you have different settings of the clock, clock faces. We can change that from this set. So you'll see, bingo, that's pretty easy. Uh, date and time, you can change that to date and time, different formats, what time zone, and so on. And clock type is digital. We'll change that to analog for this. There you go. All right. Uh, let's go back to clock, put it back to where it was. Uh, back, clock type, digital face this one all right bingo so USB if there was one same thing um, you, you can control AM FM how you play audio through your car um, you have the clock button here on the left so you can go straight to clock you have the phone button uh, audio button um, but there's nothing connected but FM and change radio stations either by the knob 
or by pressing the buttons. This is cool too. So no matter where you're at, you hit scan stations, it'll list all the, all the um, channels and it'll tell you, so most of the time, um, rock, adult, uh, country, rock, rock, adult, top 40, classic, and so on. So that's pretty cool. Instead of having to guess where your particular genre of music is, you can go to the station list there and find it. So that is about it. I'm sure there's some more bells and whistles in here, um, but I have not covered probably all of them. Um, and that's really about it. So um, like, subscribe, yeah, and leave comments, any questions, leave them down below. And thanks for watching.